Hello everybody, DJ Vic Vapor back with another Bitwig Studio Advanced Concepts. And um, it's just like an update or an amendment to the previous project template that I released uh, just a few days ago. So I showed you like, you know, the variations of chords and things like that. What I decided to do was just make an ultimate template or an ultimate deep house template. And let me explain to you kind of what we've got going on. Um, if you watched the previous video, you know, I, I put in all the different chords and things like that here and they're available uh, to play and it's all routed over and I've just got like a, um, you know, uh, a poly synth on the channel here on the synth channel and everything's routed to there. So what it, what it allows you to do again, um, is experiment with chord structures and be able to record those and, and, you know, manipulate them into an arrangement. And I'll show you a little bit more about a creative couple creative ways to do that and, and come up with something that sounds complex. But the original template that I released had about maybe 50, 60 chords. This one really, I mean, there, there you really don't need too many other options as far as chords. It's, I think I counted about 163 or 164 chords here, which is, you know, the variations are endless. The possibilities are endless. So if you're not in depth or your music theory is, uh, you know, isn't as strong as you want it to be, you have this template at your disposal. There's not a whole lot of things you're going to have to guess and struggle with because this, this guy will work for you really, really well. And I've collapsed it all down into a group here. Let me scroll over a little bit. And so it's collapsed down into a group there. So let's look at a creative way to use these when you see a template like this. It, it's easy to grab and then wonder, okay, well, what's a nice, easy way to use it? The first thing I would do is I would open up a new template off to the side here so that you've always got this one as your base. And then whatever you can record and create from a chord structure point of view, you can come over here and make this kind of your home home base, you know, as far as what you want to do, as far as completing a, a track or a project or something like that. So let me get some real estate opened up here. So this can be where we bring things in. And you want to save this as just a, you know, just a kind of an experiment uh, laboratory for chords. So with that being said, let's go over to the synth channel. I guess I don't need to arm it actually. I'm just going to record it into the arrangement. So what I can do now is I'll hit record and I'm just going to randomly grab some chords here and, and play with the structure and play with the sound. And then I'll show you a creative way to, to work with those MIDI files once they're recorded. So record and then I'm just, I, it may or may not be the perfect choices. I'm just going to bounce around here. So. So we've got those chords. Let me go over to the arrangement. And if I look down through here, let me arm this side. We've got our chords right there, the ones we just played in. So what I can do is let me highlight everybody here. copy and we'll come over to this guy and we oh, I think I have to go here and I just hit command V now it's those same chords that we just did from this tab are now in this project So let's look at a creative way to work with them. We can uh, put this guy up here. Put the 
this guy up here. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a structure here. Let's see what we can do with it. Don't need these channels, just need this guy. What do we got on here? I'll just get a basic piano sound here. Keyboards. See what that sounds like. All right, so let's open up this clip. Here's all of our notes. So what we can do now is I will fold those guys just to make it easier for me to work with. And you can just kind of start moving things around. You know, you can take like this first one maybe, bring it back right in here. Um, maybe take these two guys, move them back. Let's see what that sounds like for us. And just by some basic simple movements like that, you can begin to get pretty complex sounds evolving. Just want to reposition this one. Actually, no. You know what? I'll just get rid of that guy. I don't need it. There we go. All right, so we've got some basic changes there, and then you can you maybe even take like one like this and move it forward. Let's see what that sounds like. So hopefully it's given you some creative ideas on a way to use that um, chord template over here. You know, and it's super, I mean, it takes all the guesswork out of struggling with chords and progressions and things like that. You can totally experiment, bring it over here, and just by moving a few things around there, I mean, we're just using a basic piano sound. We've got a fairly complex sounding little structure. So, just out of curiosity's sake here, let's see uh, what a different sound might come. Let me go ahead and play it, actually, and just audition some different sounds. Just to give you an idea. Let's find something else. 
else here. Let's try this guy. So pretty cool stuff. Hopefully it's giving you an idea. Like I said, something creative you can do. I'm going to erase that and go back to the original template. Activate this. Go ahead and get rid of these guys. That was just the example. So that's the chords. Okay. So we were looking at that. That's all the chords. Like I said, I think over 160, maybe close to 170 more than enough chords for you to get creative with and, and take your time to learn some things and, and teach yourself, you know, different ways that chord structures can be laid out. You really can't make any mistakes in here. You just kind of tinker around till something sounds good and then, you know, bring it over to a new project and, and kind of reposition the MIDI notes to get different uh, rhythms out of it. So again, that's just the chords. This template goes a little bit bigger. So I'm not going to call it Vic Vapor's ultimate deep house template if I didn't give you just a little bit more. If that wasn't enough, let's collapse this. And now I'm going to go over to the arrange because there's another group of uh, MIDI tracks here. Now, again, this is all MIDI, but what I've done is it's a complete deep house style track at 123 BPM laid out. Everything's laid out in MIDI, complete. The kick, the clap, the haps, it's a complete song. Like you don't have to, you, the whole structure is there. The whole song structure is there. All you have to do is get creative and bring in whatever kick, clap, hats, percussion, bass. Basically, you're just bringing in synths or samples from your sampler to uh, play. And they're all, see, they're already positioned within the track where they should hit and where they should be triggered. So it's the complete layout. So let me give you an example. Like, um, let me open up the kick here. I'll just get, uh, I'll stay within Bitwig. Let's get um, drum. Let's get the E kick. I'm not going to tune it or anything. I'm just going to show you, for example, what we've got going on here. So now I put a kick there. I'll hit play. And there's my kick and the pattern's already laid out. So I can just continue down, clap. So there, I mean, it's like the complete song is already structured. You don't even have to write the structure of it. You're basically experimenting with what sounds you want on each of the channels. And the channels are labeled in a way that you should be experimenting within your uh, synth or your samplers with those style of samples. And it, it's a great way to teach yourself kind of a song structure and also just a, f a fun way to, you know, come up with some creative ideas and put things in places where maybe people wouldn't have thought otherwise. So let's do a few more of these just to continue to show you kind of the idea here. So let's hit the hats. Drum. I'm just using, you know, you can use whatever you want. I'm just using the Bitwig stuff. Let's see where the bass is here. Bass might not come in right away, I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't come in until back in here, so around 105. So now we just want to find a good bass sound because the pattern's there for us. So let me go to bass and let's experiment. Thank you. 
And all these um, different files again are the complete track. So each one, if you fill in all the all the sounds, it's going to create that track for you. So hopefully, uh, it's a template that you can find uh, and in, or download and enjoy. I'm sorry, it took a, a lot of um, man hours and personal time to create, but I felt like um, it's just one of those things I wanted to do because I remember the early days of trying to get started and struggling, and I, I would have loved to had uh, an opportunity to see something like this available. So go ahead and download it share it all that fun stuff um you know comment like subscribe whatever it takes so i've got a bunch of chords and a complete deep house track all available for you and ready to go all you got to do is download and experiment and don't forget once you get this template downloaded and opened and saved and into your um computer whenever you're working with it you always want to you know file new and open a secondary one because the beautiful thing about bitwig is whatever you're doing on this template you can copy paste over to the new template that way you're not making any changes here and this is kind of your core go-to template to bring uh, ideas from so once again enjoy thanks for hanging out on the channel again subscribe share like all that fun stuff and uh, have a great uh, rest of the month and hopefully happy holidays peace